وہ اس کل نہ کھلو ہاتھ ہل کریا اینڈ جسٹ ریکال وین وی سیٹ ٹو یو اینٹر دس سٹی اور دس ٹاؤن ہاتھ ہل کریا دا وچ واز دیٹ سٹی اور ٹاؤن ہیئر اگین قرآن ڈزنٹ مینشن دی نیم ہاز ہی دس اینٹر دس ٹاؤن بٹ یو نو دی بیبلیکل ڈسکرپشن ٹیل دیٹ اٹ واز دی ٹاؤن آف جیریکو اور اریحا دیٹ واز دی فرسٹ ٹاؤن دیٹ واز کیپچرڈ بائی دی بنی اسرائیل آفٹر دیر ایکسوڈس فرام ایجپٹ اینڈ دیٹ واز دی بگننگ آف دیئر کانکرنگ پیلسٹائن تو دی فرسٹ ٹاؤن دیٹ فیل ٹو دیم واز اریحا اور جیریکو اٹس ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹو ڈے ان دی نیوز یو فائنڈ دس نیم ریپیٹڈلی وَإِذْكُلُّ ادْخُلُوا هَذِهِ الْقَرْيَةَ فَكُلُوا مِنْهَا حَيْثُ شِئْتُمْ رَغَدًا Enter this town and eat bountifully therein with pleasure and delight wherever you wish. وَإِذْكُلُوا الْبَابَ سُجَّدًا But enter the door bowing your heads. That was very important. When a conqueror enters a town which he has conquered or an army enters a town which he has conquered the necks they are high up The heads are high, they are proud. But when Muhammad sallallahu entered Mecca, his head was bowed down. His forehead was touching the hair of the neck of the horse he was riding. Because this was not the time of arrogance, it was the time of humility before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same commandment was given to them. Udkhulul baba sunjadan, bowing yourself. Waqulu hittatun. And repeat the word hitta. Hitta mean, meant in, in Hebrew, hitta, O oh Allah, ikhfir lana, pardon us, grant us our mistakes. Hitta tun. And going with your humility and say, forgive us. Nakhfir lakum khatayakum. We shall forgive you your misdeeds or your mistakes. Wasanadidul bohsaneen. And those of you who are good doers, we will increase their rewards. فَبَدَّلَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا قَالًا غَيْرَ الَّذِي قِلَ لَهُمْ But those evil doers, those who were the evil doers, they changed the word that was given to them by another one which was not given to them. And it is given in Torah, they said, Hinta, Hinta, instead of Hitta, Hinta. Hinta means this wheat, we need wheat. We need wheat. This was the bad habit of these Jews from the very beginning. As we shall find that with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they used to say, Raina, Raina. So, inshallah, we shall read when we go progress further. فَبَدَّلَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا قَوْلُ الْغَيْرَ الَّذِي قِيلَ لَهُمْ فَأَنزَلْنَا عَلَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا رِجْدَ مِنَ السَّبَعَةِ So, we send down upon those evil doers a punishment from the sky. بِمَا كَانُوا يَفْسُقُونَ Because of their rebellion nature, rebellion and disobedience. Why is this the Ska Musa Lekomehi? Again remember the time when the nation, people of both is, asked for water. Is the Ska Musa Lekomehi? Is the Ska to demand water, to drink? Because there was no source of water. And for such a big, you know, perhaps there was some camping at some place, And at that place there was no source of water. And now 600,000 people going without water, what condition would have been there, if everybody can imagine. Now they gather around Moses alayhi salatu wa salam. We find this, all these details in Torah, in very lengthy details. They cursed Moses alayhi salatu wa salam. They said, you have done us something very bad. At least we were there in Egypt, although we were slaves, But we were eating and drinking and we were having all the goods of life. Now, although we have become free from that bond of slavery, but nothing to eat, not even water to drink. Where have you brought us? That was the attitude of the people. Now, when they gathered round Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam, demanding water, فَقُلْ نَبْنِ بِعَسَاكَ الْحَجْرِ Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah! produce some source of water for us. Fakulna, we told him, we asked him, Idrib bi asak al-hajr, strike this rock with your staff. Fan fajarat min husnata ashrata ayna. There gushed forth from that rock twelve springs. Qad alima kullu nasim mashrabahu. Every tribe 
knew its place of drinking because they were twelve tribes. They were the progeny of twelve sons of Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam. And there were twelve tribes. Now look to the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He didn't give them one spring. They would have fought each other. So twelve springs gushed out. So every tribe fixed for itself that this is our spring and this is our spring so that there was no infighting between them on this water. قَدْ عَلِمَ كُلُّهُ نَاسٍ وَشْرَبَهُمْ كُلُّهُ وَشْرَبُهُمْ بِالْرِسْتِ اللَّهِ وَلَا تَعْصَوْا فِي الْأَرْضِ مُفْسِدِينَ And as if it was said to them, now eat and drink from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided you and do not act corruptly. وَإِسْقُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَىٰ لَنْ نَسْمِرَ عَلَىٰ تَعَامٍ وَاحِدٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given them man and salwa. All the dietary needs were fulfilled by these two. They were getting them without any hard labor, without cultivation, without farming, everything easily at hand. But now they got tired with these two things. My skultum, and remember when you said, Ya Musa, O Moses, Lan nasmira ala ta'amil wahidin. We can't be patient with this only one food. Continuously taking one food, this man and salva, nothing else. Fado lana rabbaka. So pray to your Lord for us. Yukhli lana mimma tumbitul ard. He should bring out from the earth what the earth grows. Mim bakleha wa kissaeha wa fumeha wa adaseha wa basaleha. Its herbs, its cucumbers, its garlic, its lentils and its onions. Now these are the things which add taste to your food. So no, because they were very much accustomed to the taste of these foods, now they demanded these things because all their dietary requirements were being fulfilled. So now additionally, every man needs something which is tasty. <laughs> Moses said, do you want to exchange that thing which is better with that which is worse, adna, or inferior at least. The meaning is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you a better food and you are asking for something which is inferior, although there are tastes in it. But actually that food which is nourishing, which is natural, that is much better than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. You want to get in exchange something which is inferior. And you want to lose that thing which is superior. Ehbetu misra. Now this word ehbetu not. This hubut is not from sky to the earth. The same word. Ehbetu misran. Go and settle some, in some city. And now if you want these things, you will have to cultivate the earth. You will have to grow these things. All these things you can't get automatically. You have to settle now. This life of Bedouins and this life of traveling. Now you will have to give it up if you want these things. And then you will get what you are demanding. This ayah is very important. And humiliation was heaped upon them. This is, so to say, conclusion. Due to these misdeeds of yours, due to these misdoings of yours, due to this going astray of yours, you were punished. The punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came to you by this decree. Was zulibat alayhimu zillah. Humiliation was heaped upon them. Wal maskana. And they drew the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Misery. Maskana misery. Wa ba'u bi gharabim min Allah. And they drew on themselves the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Zalika bi annahum kanu yakfuruna bi ayatillah. And this is because they used to belie and deny the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَيَقْتُلُونَ النَّبِيِّينَ بِغَيْرِ الْحَقِّ And they had been killing and slaying the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any reason, without any cause. ذَلِكَ بِمَا عَصَوْ وَكَانُوا يَعْتَدُونَ And this punishment was given to them because they disobeyed and they were transgressing the bounds of the sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.